Welcome you for the today's uh, lecture. This is uh, module 4, lecture uh, 1. Now, in this uh, lecture, we will be studying about uh, the various uh, geometrical uh, measurement, geometry measurement of the work pieces. Now, uh, uh, in the present uh, lecture, we will be discussing about uh, the importance of uh, geometric integrity of uh, work pieces. Also, what are the various uh, definitions related to the part geometry measurement and then uh, we will be discussing about uh, the various uh, symbols used to represent uh, the geometric uh, tolerancing. And also, a surface plate uh, is most commonly used in uh, workshops for uh, the inspection purpose. So, which is used as a datum uh, surface. We will see a very brief description of uh, surface uh, plate and then uh, we will move on to the meaning of uh, straightness and uh, straightness tolerancing. Afterwards, we will see what are the various uh, straightness measurement uh, methods. Now, let us uh, uh, understand the importance of uh, geometric integrity of uh, the components. Uh, there is uh, an increasing demand for uh, product reliability and efficiency, which uh, prominences the geometric integrity of components and uh, assemblies. The components are to be produced uh, as per uh, the designer's uh, very strict uh, specifications, so that uh, they function as uh, expected. The measured uh, components uh, uh, invariably contain uh, various uh, deviations from the nominal uh, features and uh, these deviations must be controlled during manufacturing uh, for uh, functional uh, reasons. The various uh, kinds of irregularities on the work pieces are uh, broadly categorized into micro irregularities and uh, macro irregularities. The micro irregularities contain uh, roughness and waviness uh, on the surface of the components and the macro irregularities encompass the errors of size and uh, form of uh, the components. The deviation from the ideal uh, form uh, normally known as uh, form error or uh, geometrical deviations is uh, one of the many aspects affecting uh, the component uh, performance. For example, the errors of uh, cylindricity on the pistons used in uh, hydraulic pistons and uh, uh, hydraulic uh, motors and pumps, they affect the efficiencies uh, uh, of the product. If there are any deviations like uh, out of roundness, out of cylindricity and the pistons, so they lead to increased friction or increased uh, leakage. So, the efficiencies of these products will uh, definitely affect. So, it is very essential that uh, we should uh, uh, control the errors while manufacturing and also it is essential that we should uh, measure the various uh, deviations to make uh, to ascertain that uh, the components are uh, within the prescribed uh, uh, tolerance limits. In engineering applications, we face the problem of uh, measurement of uh, geometrical features. Uh, such as straightness, squareness, flatness, roundness, cylindricity, parallelism, concentricity, run out etcetera, etcetera. In this uh, lecture, we learn the uh, methods used to measure the various uh, geometrical uh, features of engineering components. Particularly in this lecture, we will be discussing about uh, measurement of uh, straightness. Now, uh, let us try to understand the uh, various uh, definitions associated with uh, geometric uh, uh, deviations of the components or geometric uh, deviation measurement of the components. So, so many times we use uh, the term uh, feature. A feature is a general term 
applied to a physical portion of uh, a component such as uh, a surface or hole or a slot and uh, these uh, features are generally uh, part uh, surfaces. For example, if you have a component uh, like this, so we have uh, this particular surface and uh, the feature means whether the, this particular uh, surface is uh, straight or uh, uh, cylindrical or uh, is there any out of roundness. So, such things are uh, known as uh, feature of uh, a component and uh, a datum is a theoretically exact plane or a point or an axis from which uh, a dimension is uh, measured. For example, when we want to measure uh, the height, height of this uh, component, it is uh, essential that uh, we should take this particular surface as a reference. So, normally what we do, we keep the uh, component to be measured on the surface uh, plate. So, this is the surface plate. And then with reference to this surface, uh, we measure the height of uh, this uh, component using uh, appropriate uh, instrumentation, instrumentation. So, this uh, surface plate, sort of top surface of the surface plate will act as a datum. Actually, the uh, datum is a theoretically exact plane or it could be a point or an axis, but when we Consider the top surface of uh, the surface plate. Again, there will be variations due to manufacturing uh, variations. Now, this top surface, even though the variations are there on the top surface, now we try to control the deviation of uh, deviations, manufacturing errors on the surface plate, and uh, we uh, try to achieve a very flat uh, surface. That means, the surface plate is uh, often used to simulate the datum. So, top surface of the surface plate is used as a datum and uh, that surface is simulated as uh, a datum. Now, a datum feature is uh, nothing but a part uh, feature that contacts uh, a datum. Since datums are theoretically exact, we use datum features as uh, the origin for uh, measurements. Now, in this diagram, we can uh, uh, see this is the surface plate, this is the surface plate and uh, there is a line which is a theoretical line which is a theoretically exact datum uh, plane. And then uh, on the surface, top surface of the surface plate, again uh, there are uh, 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 micro irregularities and uh, we take this top surface as a simulated uh, datum uh, surface. And now, the datum surface, the part surface, on the part surface we have the variations uh, like this. So, the datum uh, that particular surface, the datum feature is on uh, the part surface and the simulated datum is on the surface uh, plate. Now, we should try to understand what is the meaning of datum reference uh, frame. It is uh, a set of uh, three mutually perpendicular uh, datum uh, planes. Now, this uh, datum reference frame is very essential in order to uh, measure the component uh, properly. Now, uh, three mutually perpendicular uh, datum plane means, so this is uh, one uh, reference plane and then we can uh, keep uh, another uh, reference plane, vertical reference plane 
perpendicular to this uh, primary reference uh, plane. This is primary reference plane or reference plane number 1 and this angle should be 90 degree. This angle is 90 degree and then perpendicular to these two we should provide uh, another uh, surface. So, this is uh, second uh, reference surface and this is a third uh, reference uh, surface. All the three are mutually perpendicular. Now, we have to keep the work piece which is to be inspected in this uh, frame and then we should use these uh, three reference uh, planes as uh, references or datum uh, uh, surfaces and then we should uh, take the measurement. For example, when we want to measure the height, so the prime this horizontal surface is taken as the primary reference. So, when we want to measure uh, this uh, particular distance, so again this refer plane is taken as uh, reference and then this distance is uh, measured. And similarly, when we want to measure this distance, now uh, this particular plane is taken as the reference and then measurement is made. So, this is uh, the datum uh, reference uh, frame, but how do we physically create the reference uh, frame, so that uh, uh, we can use it uh, during uh, physical measurement. Now, you can see here we have a surface uh, plate. So, this surface plate can be used as a primary reference uh, surface or horizontally horizontal reference surface. Now, uh, angle plate, angle plate uh, we have to keep on the surface plate. So, wherein this inclination is uh, 90 degree. So, now we have formed the vertical second uh, reference uh, surface. So, similarly we can keep one more uh, angle plate here. So, this uh, forms the third uh, reference surface. Now, we can keep the component uh, within this frame and we can make the measurement. In some cases uh, only one uh, reference uh, may, uh, uh, plane may be required. So, uh, for example, we want say we have the surface plate and we want to measure only the height of uh, the object. In that case, uh, we require only one uh, reference uh, plane. In some cases uh, two references play, uh, may be required, in some cases three reference planes uh, may be required. The three planes provide a common reference for the origin and direction of measurement for draftman, machinist as well as uh, inspector. For all these three uh, personnel, the uh, datum reference uh, frame is required in order to draw the, in order to show the various uh, dimensions. So, the again uh, the uh, draftman will use a particular point as a reference. With this reference, he gives all the dimensions. Also during uh, the uh, manufacturing in the machine shop, the operator will use uh, the same uh, uh, reference point and he will uh, uh, measure all the dimensions or give uh, the uh, cuts. And similarly, during inspection, the same uh, reference uh, frame is used uh, during inspection by the inspector. Now, we should understand that features on the workpiece uh, can be external or it can be internal uh, features. For example, external feature means the diameter of a shaft. So, this uh, diameter is an external uh, feature. Similarly, the height of the object is an external feature, width of the object is an external uh, feature or uh, say we have some uh, uh, work piece with some external uh, feature like this, a profile, so then this is also an external uh, feature. Similarly, if you take a uh, an object wherein uh, there is some uh, hole. So, we have some hole here. So, this uh, hole diameter, hole diameter becomes uh, the internal uh, feature or maybe inside there is a taper, tapered hole. This, this taper is another uh, internal uh, feature or say there is a slot like this. So, this is uh, some internal uh, feature. Now, uh, we should uh, understand uh, what is the, what are the various symbols used in uh, during uh, geometric uh, tolerancing and all these uh, tolerance symbols are uh, 
as uh, specified by various uh, standards. You can see here the different kinds of features are there, individual uh, features uh, and uh, uh, you can see type of tolerances, form tolerance, profile tolerance, orientation, location, runout. And in the form, uh, we have uh, different characteristics uh, like uh, flatness. So, we have the flatness and this uh, shows how the flatness is indicated on the drawings. And when we want to show the straightness, a horizontal line is used and whenever we require to show the circularity or roundness, a circle is uh, used and uh, cylindricity is uh, shown by this uh, symbol. Similarly, profile of a line can be shown like this, profile of a surface can be shown by using this particular uh, symbol and whenever uh, two surfaces are to be made uh, perpendicular and we want to show the perpendicularity aspect, uh, then we should use this inverted T symbol and uh, when uh, angularity is uh, to be shown, for example, we have uh, uh, some uh, angular component uh, like this, then uh, the angularity is shown uh, using this particular symbol and whenever uh, we want to show that uh, two lines or two surfaces are should be parallel, then we use this uh, particular. Uh, similarly, for location runout, these are the symbols uh, used. And this is uh, known as a feature uh, control uh, frame. Okay? So, first uh, in the first box, we have to write uh, the uh, symbol corresponding to the required uh, characteristic. For example, here we have used the circle with a plus which uh, indicates the position, position characteristic and uh, the tolerance value on the diameter and then this is the modifier maximum material uh, control like that and this which is the reference datum uh, for achieving this uh, uh, position. So, that is uh, mentioned in the last uh, box. Now, uh, in the machine shops, uh, normally surface plates are uh, used uh, uh, as uh, datum uh, surfaces. So, surface plates are uh, mostly rectangular, uh, uh, they have rectangular shape having uh, 4 is to 3 uh, length to width ratio. These uh, plates are rigid in uh, design and uh, they are ribbed in the bottom surface so that uh, no warping takes place when heavy loads are placed on that. The top surface of the plate is uh, scraped to true flatness. A uh, lot of uh, care is uh, taken uh, during manufacturing of these uh, uh, surface plates, particularly the machining of uh, the top surface of uh, the surface plate and uh, many a times uh, the straight edges are used. Uh, to check uh, the flatness of uh, the surface plates. Now, you can uh, see here we have this uh, straight edge and we can always use uh, pression uh, blue. So, pression uh, blue can be applied to this uh, knife edge okay? and then uh, the uh, straight edge is moved along uh, the surface of uh, the surface plate, whenever wherever there are top uh, peak points, the pression blue gets uh, added to the top peaks and then uh, those peaks uh, can be removed by scraping operations like this. Uh, we, we should uh, scrape the surface so that uh, it is made uh, flat. And uh, for uh, big uh, surface plates, leveling screws are provided for adjusting the top surface. Uh, 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 tr truly horizontal. Now, standard available sizes of plates are uh, the sizes vary from 100 by 100 millimeter to 2000 by 100 millimeter in uh, 13 uh, ranges. All the four edges of uh, the uh, surface plates are finished straight and are square to each other. Uh, according to the Indian uh, standard uh, 2285, the cast iron surface uh, plates uh, the surface plates are made uh, uh, by surface cast iron and are classified into two grades as grade 1 and grade 2. Depending upon uh, the uh, requirement, if it is for inspection uh, grade, uh, 
uh, for calibration grade we should go for uh, grade 1 if it is for uh, uh, measurement of flatness or straightness we can go for uh, grade 2. And then uh, surface plate is used uh, to provide a datum or uh, a reference uh, surface in most of the measurement activities carried out in the machine shop machine shops. Now, uh, let us move on to the uh, a, a geometric uh, feature straightness, straightness of the component. Uh, let us try to understand what is the meaning of uh, straightness. You can see here a, a line is said to be straight over a given uh, length if all points on the line remain within the two lines drawn parallel to the general direction of the line in question separated by a tolerance amount. For example, this is the general direction of the line and now we on this line we have uh, many points or maybe peaks and valleys are there. Now we have to draw two lines parallel to this general uh, line which are separated by the tolerance amount. Say this uh, tolerance amount is uh, some point, uh, uh, zero 5 millimeter. Now, if all the peaks and valleys on that particular line are well within this uh, range, then we say that uh, line is uh, straight. Now, uh, straightness uh, tolerance it can be applied to an axis or it can be applied to a uh, surface. Now, uh, we can see when it is applied to in axis when the tolerance is applied to axis say we have a cylindrical object like this and this is the axis ok and uh, the size uh, varies diameter varies. from 12 to 12.5. So, diameter is varying from 12 to 12.5 and uh, then uh, the tolerance is uh, specified like this. So, this is the symbol for straightness and then its value is 0 0.03 millimeter and should be straight within this uh, 30 microns. So, what happens is uh, now the size of the component Now, this uh, size the maximum it can be 12.5 as per the given uh, tolerance on the size. So, minimum is 12 and uh, maximum is 12.5 and then similarly here at the center also it is uh, 12.5. Now, this total distance can go up to 12.53. Okay, that means, uh, this is the axis and uh, we have another axis here for this particular portion. So, this distance is uh, 0 0.03 millimeter. So, this is uh, diameter uh, tolerance zone. So, this size can be up to 12.53. Now, when uh, the tolerance straightness tolerance is applied to surface, then so we have this object cylindrical object and uh, 
So, again uh, the size varies uh, from uh, 12 to 12.5. So, this is uh, 12 to 12.5 diameter. Now, in actual practice, this is the specified uh, tolerance. So, when we manufacture the actual component can be like this. So, the maximum size it is 12.5 maximum material condition. So, this is uh, 12.5 uh, millimeter as per the given uh, tolerance and uh, so this uh, tolerance on the surface. So, this is say 0 0.02, 0 0.02 millimeter. Now, this is the tolerance on the size of the component and this is the tolerance on the feature that is uh, straightness. So, this uh, uh, variation can be up to 0 0.02 millimeter and similarly here it can be up to 0 0.02 millimeter. Okay. At uh, many places, it is uh, needed that uh, work surfaces uh, must be perfectly uh, straight. For example, in the case of uh, lathe, the tool must move in a straight path to generate uh, a perfect uh, cylinder. So, this is possible only when uh, the guide base are uh, straight. When the guide base are straight, the carriage uh, will move uh, on this uh, straight uh, guideway and then uh, the uh, cutting tool uh, will give the cut on the workpiece and then we get uh, cylinders. If the guideways are not straight and some uh, error is there, then the tool will also move uh, in this fashion so that we do not get uh, the proper uh, uh, cutting, we get lot of errors on the work pieces. So, now, uh, in order to check whether the machine tool guideway is straight or not, uh, uh, we use many instruments uh, and methods. So, that uh, we will study uh, now. Now, we should understand what is the meaning of uh, the straightness uh, tolerance uh, zone. You can see here we have a cylindrical uh, object and uh, on uh, this surface the straightness tolerance is given it is 0.1 uh, millimeter. So, what is the meaning of this? Now, we have this uh, cylinder and we take one generator. If you take one generator on this particular uh, cylinder, this uh, variation, variation should not exceed this 0.1 uh, millimeter. This is the straight net stra tolerance. That means, this uh, gap this gap is uh, 0 0.1 millimeter. Like this, we have to consider uh, uh, many generators, we have to make measurements on many generators and in all the generators, if the error is uh, within 0 0.1, then the cylinder is set to be straight. Similarly, on the uh, flat uh, surfaces, planar surfaces, uh, again uh, the, on the surface, the straightness uh, tolerance is uh, 0 0.01. That means, on this uh, surface, uh, if you consider a line, okay, all the variations in the vertical plane should be within this 0 0.01 millimeter. If that is the case, we say this particular uh, surface is uh, straight. Now, uh, having understood what is the meaning of uh, straightness and uh, straightness tolerance, now we will move to the measurement uh, of uh, straightness. So, various uh, methods and various devices are used to measure the straightness. Uh, some of the methods are using straight edge, uh, we can you check the straightness and uh, straight, uh, straight edge along with the slip cages can be used uh, 
to assess the straightness and uh, we can also use uh, spirit level and auto calimeters uh, uh, for checking the straightness. Uh, the spirit level can be used only on the horizontal uh, surfaces whether the, a particular line on the horizontal surface is straight or not. Whereas, uh, auto calimeter can be used on uh, all uh, different uh, planes, it can be used for checking uh, the straightness along horizontal axis, horizontal planes as well as vertical uh, planes. For example, in machine tools say we have a vertical uh, guide base. So, whether the uh, vertical guide base are uh, straight or not that can be uh, checked by using auto calimeter. And uh, the recently uh, with the advancement of uh, CMM and uh, computer aided inspection, uh, CMMs are used uh, to check the uh, straightness. And there are uh, uh, some uh, methods uh, to test uh, as per ASTM uh, like gap test and then the total uh, uh, indicator readout TIR test and then finger roll uh, test for uh, checking the straightness of uh, uh, thin wires and rods and bars. So, we will uh, uh, learn uh, some of these uh, methods. Now, using a straight hedge, how to check the straightness? Now, this uh, straight edge is a, a rectangular or I shaped uh, uh, device with a beveled uh, edge. So, it looks uh, like this. So, we have this uh, rectangular shape and then one end is beveled like this with a small radius at this uh, place. And then the straightness straightness of this particular edge is well within uh, 1 micron depending upon the length. Now, uh, these uh, are made uh, using uh, steel or uh, cast iron and uh, they are available in uh, uh, different lengths like half meter length or 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter. Uh, for example, when we want to measure the uh, straightness of uh, machine tool uh, guide ways. So, this is the slide of the machine tool and this is the machine bed wherein we have uh, the guide ways. And uh, say we want to check uh, whether the uh, guide way is uh, straight or not. So, depending upon uh, the size of the machine, this uh, length of the guide way may be half meter or 1 meter or 2 meter. So, throughout the length whether the guide way is straight or not that uh, we want to check. In that case, we can uh, use uh, these uh, straight edges and straight edges can be placed on uh, the uh, guide way and then the straightness can be checked. Now, uh, uh, so we can use directly straight edge on the machine tool uh, bed or uh, guide way we can check or sometimes uh, along with uh, surface plate uh, the straight uh, edge can be used for measurement of uh, straightness. Now, according to Indian uh, standard 2220, straight edges are provided in uh, two grades, grade A for inspection uh, purpose and uh, grade B for uh, workshop uh, purpose. Uh, by uh, using uh, Prussian uh, uh, blue and straight edge, the irregularities on the surface plate uh, can be found as I already explained. So, this uh, photograph shows uh, uh, a I shaped uh, straight edge. So, this is the finished uh, scra scraped uh, surfaces. This surface is used uh, for checking purpose and uh, different lengths are possible. To reduce the weight, uh, the holes are uh, made here and you can also see some uh, ribbing to increase the rigidity of uh, the straight edges. Now, for uh, checking uh, the straightness of the components, the straight edge is placed along the full length of the surface and uh, the two are viewed against the bright light. Now, you can see here this is uh, the work piece and uh, we want to measure whether this top uh, surface is straight or not. So, in that case we have to take this uh, uh, straight edge and we have to keep it on the surface 
and uh, the other side we should keep uh, a light source, bright uh, light source. And now whether the light is passing between uh, the surface plate top surface and the knife edged uh, straight edge. So, that uh, we have to observe light passing in the gap uh, we should uh, observe. If no light is passing then uh, the uh, work piece surface is uh, straight and if there is some light there is uh, it indicates that there is some uh, error straightness error. A quantitative uh, assessment uh, can be made by observing the color of the light. So, due to interference uh, caused by diffraction of light uh, while passing uh, through the gap the color of light uh, changes. If the color is uh, red it indicates a gap of 1 to 2 microns and if the color is blue the gap is uh, 7 to 8 uh, microns. So, in this way we can check the straightness of the work piece uh, surfaces. Now, uh, along with the straight edge uh, along with uh, the slip gauge and the straight edge uh, we can check the straightness. Uh, uh, the procedure is like this uh, we have to uh, use uh, a surface plate a datum surface and then this is the component the straightness of which is to be checked. So, this uh, could be surface plate or uh, a straight edge. Now, here we have to keep the slip gauge say this is uh, point number uh, 0 and then uh, so we have to mark. Uh, so, if this is L So, we have to support uh, this uh, length at any points like this we have to use another uh, uh, set of slip gauges and we have to support like this. So, that this distance is any distance so that the bending is minimum. Now, we have to divide this uh, distance into 10 equal parts. So, this is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, now the height of uh, this particular slip gauge is say 10 millimeter and height of this particular uh, set is say 11 millimeter. So, now uh, we can uh, we know the height of this point number 0 is 10 millimeter and here it is uh, uh, 11 millimeter height is 11 millimeter point number 10, but height is uh, 11 millimeter. Okay. So, the theoretical height at this point uh, will be 10.1 and here it is 10.2, 10.3, 10.4 and here it is uh, 10.5, 10.5, 10.6, 10.7, 10.8, 10.9 and 11. So, this uh, is uh, height is uh, 11. So, this is 10 and this is uh, 11. So, theoretical heights we know. Now, we have to use uh, slip gauges and we have to ins insert the slip gauges at all these points and actually what is the height we have to uh, measure and then we can uh, draw the graph. So, this is the position uh, position on the workpiece surface. Say this is uh, point number uh, 0 and up to 10, up to 10. I am at uh, point number uh, 0, the height is uh, 10 millimeter. And at point number at this point, uh, the height is uh, 11 millimeter. So, now we can join this by means of a straight line. Now, actual distances, uh, actual heights we have to measure by inserting the slip gauges. Say uh, this is uh, 5. So, at point number 1, uh, say the height is uh, 10. Point, uh, 
one uh, something like that and here it is uh, second point, third point, fourth point, uh, fifth point, sixth, eighth, ninth and this is tenth point. If we join then we get uh, the line uh, like this. Now, we have to draw two lines, one passing through this peak and other passing through this uh, valley. So, this uh, gap gives us the straightness uh, error of this uh, particular edge. So, this is the edge to be inspected. So, what is the error in this particular edge can be obtained by this uh, method. Now, uh, other uh, method is uh, by use of uh, spirit level we can uh, check the straightness of uh, the components. Uh, spirit uh, level consists of a sealed glass tube and it is mounted in a base. The inside surface of the tube is ground uh, to a convex uh, barrel as shown here uh, and this uh, radius is uh, large uh, radius and then there is a scale uh, engraved on the glass and the tube is uh, filled with uh, ether or uh, alcohol. Uh, and then there is a small uh, air bubble. So, this uh, air bubble uh, it always tries to remain at the topmost uh, point. If the base is perfectly horizontal then uh, the uh, bubble uh, will be at the center of the scale and if uh, it is tilted if the spirit level is tilted then it tries to occupy uh, the topmost uh, point. It always tries to remain at the highest point of the tube. These uh, spirit levels they are used for leveling the machine tools and they are also used to check the straightness of uh, surfaces. Now, the test procedure is like this. The uh, test can be carried out uh, by using uh, spirit level or uh, auto collimator the procedure remains same. The straightness of any surface uh, could be determined by either of these uh, instruments by measuring the relative angular positions of uh, number of adjacent uh, sections uh, made on the surface to be tested. So, what we have to do is uh, we have to draw a line on the surface whose uh, uh, straightness uh, is to be inspected uh, like this. So, this is the uh, surface uh, to be inspected and here we have to draw a straight uh, line and then we have to divide this uh, straight line into number of uh, equal uh, parts and distance between, between two adjacent uh, lines uh, being L. So, this distance is L, where L is the distance between the base the two feet on the spirit level. This is the spirit level and this is the glass tube with the bubble and uh, two feet will be provided on the auto collimator reflector surface or uh, the spirit level. So, this distance center distance is uh, equal to L. So, by knowing this L, uh, we can uh, divide this line into equal number of uh, parts keeping uh, the distance between two lines equal to L. Now, the spirit level can be used only for uh, the measurement of uh, straightness along the horizontal surfaces, whereas uh, auto collimators can be used to check uh, the uh, straightness on vertical and inclined surfaces also. In case of uh, spirit level, the block is uh, moved along the line on the surface to be tested in steps equal to the 
pitch distance between uh, the uh, center lines of the feet. The angular variations are measured by the sensitive uh, level. That means, uh, in the first place, uh, uh, in the first position, what is the reading of the spirit level that should be noted down and then it is moved to the second uh, section. Again, uh, what is the bubble uh, reading that should be noted. This, this bubble, uh, uh, then the spirit level reading they will change when uh, the straightness uh, uh, the changes. So, angular variation can be correlated in terms of uh, difference of height between two points by knowing the least count uh, of uh, level or uh, uh, least count of level and length of the base. Now, uh, with this uh, we will uh, conclude this uh, session. In this session we learnt about uh, the importance of uh, geometric uh, tolerancing and uh, what are the terms uh, associated with uh, uh, dimension uh, feature uh, measurement and then uh, we also uh, learnt uh, what are the various uh, methods of uh, measuring the straightness and out of those methods we started the discussion on uh, the measurement of straightness, uh, straightness using uh, uh, spirit level. So, with this uh, we will conclude in the next session we will continue the discussion on uh, straightness uh, measurement by various uh, methods. Thank you. Yeah.